endosperm development in angiosperms. What do you mean by an endosperm? Endosperm is a nutritive tissue that surrounds and nourishes the embryo in the seeds of angiosperms. It is formed mostly as the result of a fusion of the two polar nuclei and one of the male gametes. Since all the three nuclei taking part in the fusion are haploid, the endosperm becomes triploid in nature. Endosperm accounts for the economic importance of cereal grains and oil seeds. Endosperm formation is suppressed in the members of families Orchidaceae and Podostomaceae. In pea and bean seeds, endosperm is completely absorbed at maturity and fleshy food storing cotyledons nourish the embryo as it germinates. In wheat and castor, the endosperm is present until germination and the cotyledons are typically thin and membranous and serve to absorb the stored food from the endosperm upon germination. Functions of endosperm It is a nutritive tissue for the developing embryo. In majority of endosperm, the zygote divides only after the development of endosperm. Endosperm regulates precise mode of embryo development. Endosperm hostoria. These are special structures that are produced to absorb nutrient from other outer tissue or from ovary tissue and supply them to the growing embryo. Types of endosperm formation There are three general types namely nuclear type, cellular type and helobial type. Nuclear type In this type, the first division and usually several of the following divisions are unaccompanied by wall formation. The nuclei may either remain free or in later stages they may become separated by walls. As divisions progress, the nuclei are being pushed towards periphery. Thus a large central vacuole is formed. Often the nuclei are separate, especially aggregated at micropylar and chalazal ends of the sac and form only a thin layer at the sides. Cellular type. In this type, the first and most of the following divisions are accompanied by wall formation and thus the sac is divided into several chambers, some of which may contain more than one nucleus. The first wall is usually transverse but sometimes vertical or oblique and in some other cases the plane of division is not constant. Helobial type. This type is frequently found in the members of the order Helobials. This type is intermediate between the nuclear and cellular types. In this type, the first division is followed by a transverse wall 
resulting in a micropylar and chalazal chamber. Further divisions are generally free nuclear and may be formed by micropylar chamber only. Ruminate endosperm The condition in which endosperm is dissected by ingrowth of the seed coat. In certain plants, the surface of the mature cellular endosperm shows high degree of irregularity and unevenness, giving a ruminated appearance. Rumination means as if chewed. It is caused either by the activity of the seed coat or by endosperm itself. Ruminate endosperm is found in about 32 families of the angiosperms. The endosperm formation in Areca catechu. The endosperm with irregularity and unevenness in its surface forms ruminate nature. In case of Anona muricata, definite growth or infoldings of the seed coat produces ruminate endosperm. In case of Myristica fragrance, the irregular surface of the seed coat makes the endosperm ruminate. The endosperm in Myristica is called as aril or mace. Endosperm in coconut. The development of endosperm in Cocos nocifera deserves special mention. Here, primary endosperm nucleus undergoes a number of free nuclear divisions. When fruit is about 50 mm long, the embryo sac remains filled with watery fluid or milk containing free nuclei and cytoplasmic particles. At later stage, when the fruit becomes about 100 mm in length, the liquid shows, in addition to free nuclei, several cells, each enclosing variable number of nuclei. Gradually, these cells and free nuclei set at the periphery of the cavity, and layers of cellular endosperm are formed. And this becomes the coconut meat. On maturity of the coconut, the endosperm does not have free nuclei or cells. Thank you for watching.